The latest on the European uh, refugee crisis, reporter John Zaro Costas uh, joins us live via Skype from Geneva. Now, John, uh, first let's start with these talks in Geneva. How many other countries have given really concrete uh, pledges to the plan that Mr. Uh, Ban is proposing? It, it's incremental. Uh, my sources tell me that uh, as of uh, around 6 o'clock, the number had gone up from 179,000 to 185,000. So during the day, about 6,000 more pledges came in. Uh, for instance, uh, New Zealand pledged an extra 600 uh, people to uh, to be resettled. Uh, the, Norweg the Norwegians and the Swedes agreed to take more people over the next three years as well. So it's incremental. This is the beginning to try and get uh, the rich countries to be more receptive to uh, taking Syrian refugees and refugees in general, which has become a hot political and divisive issue in the European Union. So this is a beginning, and, and the Office of the High Commissioner for Refugees is very innovative. It's talking, for instance, of um, visas for family reunions, uh, scholarships for students, uh, all other avenues, uh, work uh, sponsorships to get out of this uh, demonizing of the refugee that has divided Europe in the, in the last nine months. And, and, and John, talk about demonizing the refugees. We know that one of the concerns of the UNHCR is that there's widespread fear across Europe that is among the citizens of those countries. Is there anything in this plan that can help to soften the hearts or change the perception, the perspectives of those of the uh, civilians of these nations? Well, the, the new scheme, especially the agreement between uh, the European Union and Turkey, that there will be a, a more thorough uh, registration and uh, of the refugees coming through. So you won't, you will have checks and balances. A lot of the fear has been that an element, maybe a small fraction, might be linked to uh, extremist groups. Uh, so the measures will be more strict, and uh, the refugees will not be able to shop around. Uh, they will be allocated a country and they have a choice to go. Right now, many have refused to go to some countries. They prefer to go where they have uh, relatives or, or friends. For instance, popular destinations have been Germany and Sweden. But the new scheme uh, with uh, EU and Turkey will be uh, more strict in, in its allocation, so there's fair burden sharing. But again, the burden sharing was one message here that the neighboring countries to the Syrian conflict, Lebanon, Jordan, Turkey, Iraq, and Egypt, have bought a big burden compared with the rich countries. Uh, Turkey, 2.7 million refugees. Lebanon, more than 1.1 million. Jordan, 600,000. So the question is, rich countries can do more. Because yeah. of the political divisions, this is a first incremental step. There'll be well, a, pledge, a humanitarian summit in Istanbul in May. There's hope to be more movement there, then okay. there's a G8, and then of course the big summit in New York a day before the General Assembly opens in September. Well, so John, it's getting the world yeah. to be more kind to the refugee. Well, something we'll be watching very closely. John, thank you very much for your thank excellent you. reporting. That is John Zarocosta's reporting live via Skype from Geneva, Switzerland.